five o'clock now, finally getting started. Went to the gym for a bit, didn't get any sleep last night. We were up till 4 a.m., came back from the bar, ate some cereal, and then our little friend here, her alarm went off at 6.30 a.m., so I probably took an hour or two to fall asleep after four, and then boom, I had to get up and stop her phone. And then I was afraid the construction was about to start at 7 a.m., so I got out of bed and I took all my clothes off the, the shelf and I put them on the floor and I slept in my bathroom here on the floor thinking that maybe I'd be further from the sound and I was literally like dizzy and nauseous all night I don't know just from overtiredness or whatever but we got things to do we got places to go Anna thinks she's leaving today although she wants to change her flight but who knows it's pretty late now Okay, the volunteer just told me that it's a Chinese pop star movie called Open Fire. Clearly I won't know him because I barely know pop stars, never mind Chinese pop stars, but people are losing their mind here, so here we go. I was surrounded by teenage Chinese girls there for a minute. I think I need to move to China. I felt kind of cool. Oh man, I just walked past a guy on a bench and I was like, he's posing with that statue very dramatically and then I realized it was Gerard Butler and then I started making a video but it wasn't filming and I was saying that, you know, should I talk to him or not? And then I was like, you know what, I won't bother him but I'll tweet this to him to let him know that I was being nice and not bothering him. I want you to know I was on the red carpet covering your thing yesterday and I had a great interview with the kid who played your son and his sister so if you could pass those along to them when I post them that would be great because obviously they're too young to be on social media yet but that will be uh, your favor in return to me for me not bothering you. I was standing near her earlier and she was talking to Russ I think and I was standing near her at the Gerard Butler thing. I'm not sure what my point is. Just dropped off the file for uh, Melissa. Everybody in that room is dying of a cold, so I'm probably gonna get sick now. And Melissa was like, hey, you coming to the red carpet? And I guess I'm not, because Anna Maria didn't want to today, but now she's saying that she wants to change her flight and stay later, so who knows? But we're also working on getting me the pass, so if, yeah, if I get that pass, maybe I can just bring... Oh, but we didn't check our SVP. Ah. The woman used to be my client uh, at Visa when I would write ads for them. She's like, hey, Josh, how you doing? And then the guy she's with uh, was like, do you ever work on gain? I'm like, I was working on gain for years. And he's like, oh, you know, I remember these spots and that spots. But she was like, I love long stream of consciousness on YouTube. So I said, okay, you're going to love my vlogs from TIFF. Uh, this is my press pass now from Anna. This is her friend Delcy. And, and uh, both of them were like, oh, yeah, that'll totally work. But I guess I should see if I can actually get in there now. I was gonna buy some food. Uh, I just asked security if I could get in even though we didn't RSVP and the girl was like, oh, we don't really normally do that. And I was like, oh, okay. And I just walked away. I totally should have just pushed it a bit, but I'm not good at that kind of thing. So now I'm just sitting here awkwardly hoping something will happen. You don't need an RBC thing? Yeah. I was gonna do press, but my friend didn't RSVP fast enough. That's my neighbor Myrna. She just yelled, hey, Josh. You should come up here. I'm like, how would I do that? There's Mila, she just yelled, Josh, and she said, walk around. So I walked around. I guess I'm getting gradually closer here. And people are cheering because it's a guy walking down the carpet, but nobody knows who he is. He knows nobody knows who he is, but everybody's very polite, like Boston. Okay, I stupidly wore my pass, now I'm getting kicked out. They're still looking for me. God, there's a big thing now. I was wearing my necklace and uh, they're like, media's not supposed to be in here. Then he's like, well, just don't interview people. You can't interview. I'm like, okay. So somehow I'm not welcome in either area now. I'm not very smart. Well, who would have known? I almost wanted to sneak out of here. I've had like three people with suits looking at me telling me not to do interviews or use my microphone. I feel like James Bond now, except a really bad James Bond because I was caught. Director producer Rob Reiner coming up. Of course, I can't whip out my microphone now because I've, I'm marked as media, even though I'm not really media. I played this so wrong. I could have just said, no, I'm not press. I'm, look, it's not even mine. It's a woman's. I just, I'm just holding it for her. So now I can't look like I'm interviewing anyone. But let's see if we can get a video of him. You may recognize him as Meathead from All in the Family. But lately, he's just been churning out hit movies. Woody! I can't believe he's a guy from the street. Woody! Woody! Woody over here! Pretty close. I told you, they go to the kids. 
he took the picture with their uh, their camera and then walked away with it like he walked away with the kid. Very funny. It's his patented move, obviously. He's loving it. He's being friendly. I don't know who he is, but maybe some people do. I guess people just cheer to be polite, and that's why everybody does that. That's the screaming I'm hearing all the time from my balcony. It's just people screaming whenever anybody walks by. All right, it's kind of like a sport. I'm getting it now. We're figuring it out. See, yeah. Some funny people behind us. I should be hosting a show with them. And there is Mila's uh, prize shot. She got the one of uh, him posing with the girls. We saw them before and they're very happy with their photo and Mila captured that moment and maybe if we tweet it out they'll see it. And then we'll add your name as photographer credit and this will be the beginning of your celebrity photography career. And then I'll be your assistant and I'll be getting a press pass. But I won't be wearing it in the fan area because I'm going to be getting kicked out. It's all very confusing. But we survive. You are a regular page. Wow, I have to decide. I'm like a vampire werewolf or something. I gotta decide what world I live in. That is a topless woman walking around painted in white and carrying flowers. Okay. Oh no, was I filming that? I love your car, Delcy. You're <laughs> pimping. You know, I'm in right? a big Silverado. I just ran into my neighbors. Uh, Oh, what are their names? It starts with G. What's a name that starts with G? Gary? Greg. Greg and Donna. Yes, and uh, I just filmed a whole thing with them on the street, and then it wasn't filming. Yeah, I was talking about uh, my adventures at TIFF. He's like, I know you want to be a YouTube guy, and I just told him all the things I've done this week. I told him how I get, got kicked off the YouTube show, and I'm getting a refund. He's like, you get paid to do things whether you show up or not. People are paying you not to be on their shows. You're brilliant. You're the smartest man in the room. So that's Greg, and now... You're the Niagara Falls girl, and now we're gonna park your truck. Should have taken a picture. Should have she said you need to have a quarter. Yeah, like I have to replace what I used. Oh, it was already the. You have replaced what you used, but you don't know what you used. She said I had a quarter. Yeah, so a quarter, a quarter will. Yeah, so a quarter will uh, not the middle. It'll be the. Uh, it's almost there. Well, actually, I can't see it from this angle. A quarter is the the big line, the the next line over from where it is. <laughs> So, I mean, it's hard to estimate because the line doesn't go up as you fill it up. We'll just have to maybe put in $10 and then start the car and look uh, at where the line is. I hate when they do that. I should have yeah. told them, no, I want a car that's full. Well, but you'd still have to replace the gas. Like maybe, yeah, but it's easier to, easier to know. know exactly, uh. yeah. Well, we can do it. We'll put in like 10 bucks or 5 bucks and then start the car. I'll put in then... all my Canadian money in it. Oh, yeah. So, this is the only car they had left. So, that's what Delcy drove to Niagara Falls today. Oh, yeah, maybe I should get I'm out get here. On. Look at that. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Fit here. No, this this truck should not be in the city, never mind in this stupid parking garage. This is the car they rented her to drive to Niagara Falls. This massive double thing. Here's another one. It doesn't even fit into the parking spot. And they're like, replace the gas you use. Replace the gas you use. It's using as much gas right now just to park as a normal car would use to drive to Niagara Falls. Just been in the lobby talking to a whole bunch of residents about the noise that's come up there today. So we've all called the cops on the L'Oreal party. Delcy said, I'm meeting a friend at Boston Pizza, but I'll be back very soon. So I don't know what that means at all. Looks like Anna's asleep, so I'll be quiet here. But you can hear the music, obviously. I don't even want to open the door. It'll be too loud. Oh, there's the stupid party for L'Oreal. The DJ. Keep in mind, it's after midnight on a Thursday. It just occurred to me that everything is kind of fishy, and I just checked and actually Anna is not in her room and Delcy never came back she said oh, I'll be back in a minute but she went to meet a friend so clearly they went out to a party without me and orchestrated this whole thing so that I wouldn't know that's a bit weird considering they're staying with me and they're doing so for free if they don't want me to come to the party just tell me but I don't like this whole sneaking around thing so I might have to tell our little friend to leave tomorrow because I don't uh, I don't want somebody I don't trust in my own apartment.